trying to get LaPointe going a little bit. He had a goal in each of his first two career games. Now there's a chance for Buell as they Polgate turned it over, and that was off the blocker. That big goaltender, Guylander, deflected out of play with uh, that save and a 1-6-9 goals against. There's a shot that grazed off the post, came in behind him and went in. So right off the faceoff, and I mentioned faceoffs, and it sounds, you know, Back into the far corner, turns it over. Here's Verboon out in front, and Alex Young fanned on that, and it's a good thing because it would have been 2 nothing. Now it is 2 nothing, And it was Cosgrove with the shot. We'll have to wait and see on the replay. I don't know if that went in clean. I don't I think it did. So Colgate, which hadn't scored in two games, 135 minutes and 17 seconds, have scored twice here in the first three minutes of change there. Now Luke Salem plays it ahead to Buell, right back to Salem. Salem with speed over the line from the left circle. Shoots and scores! Luke Salem with the goal. I think the defenseman may have gotten a stick on that. And it changed direction a little bit, but Salem's been very active tonight. And he is rewarded with a goal here. Great little give and go through the neutral zone. Kowski's knocked down from behind. That allows McKechnie to pick up the puck. And then McKechnie runs the goaltender. It's McKechnie coming down. And then following up is Cosgrove. Shumi put his arms up, but is immediately waved off. Score is two to one Colgate at the moment. Let's see, here come the referees. And they're gonna, it is a goal. So Colgate takes a three to one lead, 16-24. And it's one back to the line, Salem a shot, sails into the glove, it's loose, they score! Luke Salem took the shot. Sailed a little bit, and it came off the heel of the glove, like at the bottom part of the glove of Guylander, and the rebound tapped in by Ashton Fry. That's a huge goal for St. Lawrence. Huge goal. Circle, and it's one cleanly. Quick shot as by Paul as Block comes back to the line. A bouncing shot deflecting around. Still loose to Saints jam away. Loose at the bottom of the circle. Chopped at it into the corner. There's there's pass ahead to the point. The point cutting in from the left side. He shoots and scores. He came off the bench, got in behind the D, and it was a bounce pass ahead by Caden Pickering, and good job to control the puck first by LaPointe, and a goal scorer scores a beautiful goal there to tie the game for the Saints, and they have deserved this because they have really played well here in the first 6.35 of period number two. Come out, here's another turnover. Here's Buell with a shot, and that one, check that was not Buell, that was Paul, and into the Colgate in. Here's a turnover. Here's Trell out in front. The shot, same way. Rebound sent back toward goal. And that was blocked. Almost at the point of the shot by Manderville. Third. Long pass ahead. Dumped on the right wing. Here's a shot. The same made The rebound loose. Picked up behind the Saint net by Altberg. With 12. And put now the Saints turn over. McKechnie moving in. He tries to jam it in. And nice job holding the post. Little pick set there. Now the point tries to drive it down low. He does. It trickles toward net. Hit the side of the goal. Picker in. Wheels in behind the net, in front, the shot! Oh, and the same made by Guylander, it's loose. Austin. Here comes McKechnie the other way. McKechnie gets to the line. Little drop pass there for Lund, moving in the shot, post save, they score. Griffin Lund's been dangerous all night. Griffin Lund was all alone, and he uh, scores a game winner. Actually, you know, Colgate earned this one because they dominated from the third period on